Hello, I'm Paul Melrose, Assisting Pastor for Pastoral Care at First United Methodist Church of Madison. Today I'm pleased to announce an addition to our devotions. Over the next weeks and months, we will be having devotions shared by different members of our church. This is a wonderful expansion of our ministry as we learn more from and about each other and our fellow congregants. There are so many ways that God speaks to each of us as individuals, as families, as people of faith. This is a wonderful opportunity to learn more, to know more, and to appreciate our God and all that our God has shared with us. So will you join me in opening our hearts and minds to even more expressions of how God speaks? And I look forward to this devotion and the ones that will follow. Hi, I'm Ann Harold Peterson, and today I will be sharing this reflection with you. I want to read a poem by Lynn Unger from her book, Bread and Other Miracles. Lynn has a beautiful way of calling our attention to the miracles and mystery of being human every day in the midst of whatever happens to be going on. Parker Palmer describes Lynn's, Lynn's poems this way, Quote, the poems take subtle, complex, and elusive experiences and make them accessible without diminishing the mystery. The poem I'm going to read from Lynn's book is called Hansel and Gretel. Read it again, she says, and again we do. The same disaster predictably reenacted night to night. Don't go in. I want to warn them. It's a trap. But children rarely listened, and storybook characters never when they see that confectionery cottage, their entrance is inevitable. Like the mosquito bite, you swear you will not scratch and always do, and always make it worse. Each decision is invariably a rigged game. The witch is always ravenous and grasping, the children neglected and naive. Preach all you like about conversion, about the will to good and unending grace. You know the witch will never lose her taste for the sweet, resilient flesh of boys. Night after night, we stumble into the forest of our fears, and night after night, we are duly caught. Every morning, we wake to the same reports of mayhem, and every morning, we poke forward some narrow stick of ourselves, hoping to get by uneaten for one more day. But listen. Each time through the story, I've dropped a small white stone. Others have too. I've seen them glowing in the moonlight, a nightly shifting of the scene, building a path both ragged and new. Next time, look down. Tear your vision from the gingerbread house. Drop a stone. Tell the children. So put yourself back into the story of Hansel and Gretel the innocent children who are irresistibly attracted to the sweetness of the gingerbread house, its promise of special treats and possibly even love. They are caught up in the spirit of curiosity and adventure. But we know better that there is danger lurking in the voice of the beckoning witch. We find ourselves today living in the midst of uncertainty and with so many challenges to our assumptions about how things ought to be. We are anxious and overwhelmed. We find ourselves longing for our lives to return to normal. Yet our days are filled with bad news and we don't know where to turn for direction. We often feel that we have lost our way. Lynn Unger offers a perspective that encourages us to look for the stones left on the path by others. These stones can show us the way home and also the way through these extraordinary times. And we are also called to drop some stones along our way so that others might find guidance and know that they are not alone on the journey. We are beginning to learn that we are all traveling this path together as God's beloved children. Let us trust in God's faithfulness, mercy, grace, and love to help us find our way. May it be so.